Hi, this is Ryan from Finale Inventory, and today we're going to be making a how-to video on creating a shipment from a sales order. The very first thing that we're going to do is go into our view stock page, and we will filter down to the item that we'll be working with. And today that's going to be the apple pie. So the very first thing I'll point out is a quantity on hand of 225 and an available quantity of 225. And we will see how this affects these quantities. So we will go right into the sales order and we're going to be creating a new sale. So at this point we can create a unique and valid order ID or we can use a system generated order ID. For this one we will use the system generated. The first couple things that I'd like to draw your attention to is the order ID the order status and as well the shipment status which right now it is not packed or shipped so the first thing we'll do is grab our customer and for this example it will be pi corp and you'll notice that the addresses for the bill to and ship to are auto populated for pi corp so let's add our product which is going to be that apple pie and we will be sending out five of these apple pies at this point we can mark this sale as committed and you'll notice the order status changes to committed so one thing i'd like to point out in this stock page is when we we're looking at this apple pie originally it was 225 and 225 for available but now because we have a reservation our quantity on hand is 225 and our available is now 220 because we have a sale reserved for five pieces of that apple pie so let's go back to our sales order so at this point we can create a shipment and we can get there from this tab or simply clicking edit shipment so what you'll see is we this is our shipments page and there's a couple ways that we can affect this product detail box down here the first thing we can do is click update shipment to match order which will match the five with a sublocation that currently has the apple pie in it but we can also select where we want to take this apple pie from so for this example, I'm going to be using A2, which has the earliest expiration date that I have set as the lot ID. So we will select five. And at this point, I can save it. And I can print the pull sheet. So this is our pull sheet that we'd send our pickers out into the warehouse with. And it'll show you that we are taking from sublocation A2. It's for the apple pie, and we are going to be taking a quantity of five. So let's imagine our pickers went out into the warehouse and grabbed those apple pies for us. The next thing that we can do is ship the shipment, which will be shipping out our apple pies. And from here, we can print our packing slip for our shipping documents. which will have out all of the information, which is the ship from, the bill to, and the ship to, and as well our five apple pies. So at this point, we have a completed order. So the only thing that we have left to do is going to our sales order, and we will mark this sale completed. So as you can see, it says our order status is completed. Our shipment status is fully shipped. And if we were to go into our view stock page, we will see that we have now a matching 220 quantity on hand and the available quantity is also 220. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was very helpful and we will see you in the next one.